your girl Renee Love. Oh my ladies, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wrong music. Yo, we're the hardest show, and they don't call us that for nothing. Dropping hot jams, then you know that it's a Friday. Chilling with them celebrities. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I got Holly 10. Welcome to it. My name is Renee Love. It is the hottest station right here on the hottest TV station, ZBC TV. That time when I get to hang out with the celebrities, and this time around it's all about hip hop, baby. And we're talking about one guy who made noise in 2021, still popping, still riding hot. Ooh, Eiffel. <laughs> Holy 10, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you mind uh, removing your shades? We didn't really want to see you, you know? No, you know, I never removed my shades. Oh, come on, come that on, would, come that, on. That would take a lot for me to do that on national television. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay, so we're just gonna leave it there, right? Yeah. So tell us more. Holy Tame came through 2021 with hot gems. I'm talking scandals, a lot of beefs. Yeah. <laughs> First, it was from the likes of uh, Enzo Aisha. They came the Tommy Moore issue, now the Volt issue. Tell me something, is it something about you that comes through, or because they know you are on fire? Well, I think it's about perspective because, from your perspective, it's you know it's, it's been scandals and beef and everything like that. Uh -huh. But from someone's perspective, maybe who's in the industry, mm -hmm. they see that as content. They see that as broadcast. So you know, it's it's about how you see. But for me, it's all about saying the truth. That's at my heart. And I know the song you tell it easy. I meant that. And uh, I just like one thing about your music. When you listen to the lyrics, it's gonna message all the time. Be it it's beef, be if it's a love song, be it, it's I don't know how to say, it. but you always have a message. What really inspires you when it comes to writing? Are you a poet? Are you? Um, I, I feel like I'm an observer. I'm I'm observing. I see what's going on, and I'm just being able to tell the whole story. Because if someone looks at this, they're mm -hmm. just going to see the table. I'm going to see the flowers. I'm going to see the microphone and everything like that, and be able to piece it together. So I pay attention to the issue of gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. And I've seen situations, I've seen things, I've seen the exploitation of the girl child. Mm -hmm. And I tell that story. I think that's how I come up with the reading. Really so tell me something, what drove you to actually go into whereby you look at the girl child? Not so many males, like uh, musicians would come through and actually stand up for the girl child. Instead, it's always about them or shoes, money, bling, bling, this, that. But you came through with a different view. Now you're talking about the girl child. Tell me something. Is there a story behind it or you just look out for your siblings? Um, there's, there's two sides of it. Okay. Um, it's, it's not because I've seen the girl child falling. Mm -hmm. It's because I've seen the girl child succeeding. You know, I've, I've grown up amongst women, my siblings. I'm the only boy in our family. And having to see my sisters growing up, I've realized that there's a way out for the girl child, even if there's a struggle. So I'm, I'm coming in, that's why I don't come in condemning the girl child even for some of the errors and faults that she might have. I come in and say, no, it's possible to live like this until Bob because I've seen it being done by other girl children. So that's the inspiration behind those like girl child. Love it, love it, love it. So as we continue, I know you've been working on uh, different projects. What are we expecting from you this time around? Um, as a musician, I promise more music. You know, but it's going to be different. Right now, we are venturing into starting talk shows because we want to put more of our presence on the internet. And I just recently started a record label. Mm. I'm going back to the ghetto and I'm going to find all that undiscovered talent and I'm going to lift them. So, mind sharing what it's called? Southern Inner Sound. Badira Kushin, Agusadi Kwa Kushin, Badira Ha. Tone ID, Wagava Kopi, Ajidi Kumukadava Kunzi, Puede, Moti Kaus and Gavunzi, Jede, Moti Ka. We're still continuing right here. It is ZBC TV right here on Horse of Friday. Still hanging out with the Queen of Malasha. It is your girl Renelo. Hey, Ziawa, Ziashisa. And we continue still hanging out with Harley 10. The man that has made people hey, go crazy. Hey, why? Be it. <laughs> Other musicians really come through and say, I wouldn't see, but I want to go far. Still talking to him. We just want to get to know more and more and more and more. So, talking about music. Who do you look forward to working with? I'm talking about the female artists this time around. Female artists? Mm -hmm. um, 
Locally, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with Feli Nandi. You know, she's a very talented vocalist and I feel like the emotion in her voice and in my lyrics will just connect. I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. And then internationally, I would work with people like... Um, like... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. There are a lot. There are a lot. You know, there are a lot. There's so much to do. I feel like there's so much to do and there's so much talent out there. Mm, I see, I see. So the last time you came through with um, the one that featured Anita Jackson, you also came through with uh, a different sound. You know, you're coming up with different sounds all the time. Do you have a specific genre that you say, this one is mine? Uh, yeah. I, I always go back to lean on the hip hop. I like to call myself a rapper. But I feel like there's all this diversity. Music is a language. And, you know, there's different kind of languages. Even Ghana, Iri, Mon, Zimbabwe, you know, there's Shona, there's Nyanja, there's all those things. So I can be able to put it on an Afro beat or love song and Winda, Gamu, Irutangwe, Kaguimba. It sounds like R&B. Anything that excites the people and educates the people. I'm willing to jump on that. All right, so before we shut this, up, let's shut this down, hey, I still want to go back to the issue you have for because in my own understanding you are one of the people who actually introduced me into this uh, music industry so then tell us what really happened for you guys to fall out we didn't fall out it's like i don't think we fell out to be honest okay yeah so um, what happened i feel like uh, you know with music you need to be able to understand that i'm an artist that talks about my life Mm -hmm. As I live, you know, they, they, they're talking about how my lyrics relate to real life. So when you, when I said those words, I'll reveal this to you, this is exclusive. When I said those words, they were not made for more. You know, someone else that was wearing pain to send a message to me. But when you stand in front of the gun and the numbers are rising because of that, we ride you. So I was riding his way. But I got no problems with my brother. Shout out to both JT if you're watching. I love you so much. So we expect you something coming up from you, from you guys. Definitely. Yeah, I was actually mixing one of the songs that we have to get that we still have found. So shout out to you both as shout well. Out boy, my <laughs> brother. Alright, so it's that time where we have to say goodbye. But before we go, I'm sure everybody at home really wants him to give us a little bit of something, you know? To my freestyles, to my band. You know, I gave it a try, but I don't think I, I may have it. So, please give us something. <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna sing one of my songs that I already have. Sure. Yeah. Zuriba 2. It's either very much fake or very much cool. It's either very much fake or very much cool. It's either very much black or very much cool. Zuriba 2. 